Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Josh and today we're going to be talking about grading your vlog footage in the quickest and easiest way possible. Now when I first got the Panasonic S5 I was shooting most of my work in Cine Like D and still to this day I still use Cine Like D for some of the stuff that I do like these YouTube videos and stuff but about sort of two to three months ago I switched over to using vlog and that was after I spoke to my good friend Russell who makes some really really nice cinematic uh, content with the S1 and the S1H um, and he showed me this conversion light which works so well well for your vlog footage and ever since then I've just been mind blown and of course I want to maximize as much dynamic range as I possibly can. Um, anyway so this conversion light I'm talking about is actually from a company called Gamut um, and you can find it on gamut.io I'll leave a link to it in the description and it costs around sort of £15, $15 but I mean I tried a whole myriad of different conversion lights like Rec 79 conversion lights for vlog and none of them got consistent results for me like sometimes it'll work on some clips but sometimes it was a bit sort of hit and miss on other clips whereas this Gamut conversion light literally works perfectly every time no matter the scene no matter the lighting it just works um, as long as you nail your white balancing camera then you'll get a really clean conversion to the Rec 79 color space um, so yeah anyway what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you a variety of different clips that are shot um, at different times on, on and on different shoots um, with the S5 and vlog and just show you exactly how well this conversion light works and then also show you the things that I do to get it to a sort of you know workable grade sort of um, clip okay so here we are inside of Final Cut. Um, by the way, sorry if you can hear the hoover going. I've got someone hoovering in the house at the moment. Um, but basically what I've done is I've loaded up on the timeline a load of different clips that I've shot um, from different sort of days and different shoots. So I've got some stuff from a uh, woodworking um, company in uh, Preston, Lancashire. I've got a little clip here from a restaurant that's quite local to me. Um, another shot here of just, you know, like a person's face. So you can see skin tones and stuff. And then I've got some other work shots from um, a sort of warehousey sort of corporate video I I've done recently. Recently. But basically I just wanted to show you guys a big range of clips that were shot in different lighting scenarios on different days So I could show you exactly how well it works and um, quite a lot of this footage actually was shot at ISO 4000 So I'll give you a good understanding of just how amazing that dual native ISO is on the S5 and of course the S1H and the S1 Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drag on our custom LUT from the effects tab inside of Final Cut um, Again, if you're using Premiere, then I'm guessing it's a Lumetri color sort of thing um, Just drag on your sort of LUT loader if you like and then I'm going to go down and click onto Gamut Vlog and as you can see now it's literally done a lot of the work for us and then what I go ahead and do is I just go to the sort of correction tab I get the color wheels and um, I always by the way always make sure if you are using Final Cut make sure your adjustments are always put above the LUT um, for me that just seems to work a little bit better um, anyway and I'll go ahead and just do this again I'm not even using any of the scopes and stuff I'm just doing this by eye at the moment just so I can show you just how easy it is for me to get you know the results that I want um, I mean I'd say maybe a little bit I'm just gonna load up my yeah okay so the exposure looks pretty good there yeah anyway you saw how long that took that took me what 15 seconds to get a usable clip I mean would I work this a little bit more if I'm being honest probably not like to me this is as absolutely fine this is a good place for this footage to sit of course it's a corporate video it doesn't need to be stylized but for me this actually works absolutely fine I mean there's a good range between the shadows and the highlights here it looks contrasty it looks well saturated and the skin tones most importantly are nice and uh, maintained which is absolutely fantastic and as you saw it literally was two things so it was a lot being loaded and then color wheels and so then if I turn this all off and turn it back on again and that is it Anyway, let's move on and do the exact same thing with another clip. So again, it's a different day, different lighting setup completely. We do the exact same process. Let's drag on this LUT. Um, let's put it on here, here we go. So there is the Gamut Vlog LUT. And as you can see, it's got you to a pretty workable state already. Um, again, I'm gonna quickly do this where I drag this above the LUT layer and we'll go by eye again to see how we feel about things. Um, again, just a bit of mid-tone and shadow saturation. Um, and then I'll probably get out a curves layer as well. We're gonna drag it above that LUT layer. Um, and then let's work on that a little bit. Again, I'm doing this all by eye. I'm not even looking at the graph at the moment. Um, normally I would, you know, use scopes and stuff, but sometimes, honestly, you, you can just tell whether things are sort of sitting in a good range. Um, I'm not gonna use that one, actually. Um, but yeah, I might even bring down the midtones a bit more, actually. Okay, so literally, how long did that take me? I don't even know. But you can see from that to that, that is definitely a workable 
clip. It definitely looks good enough to present to a client. And to be honest, I wouldn't I wouldn't actually change that much. I like a really clean color palette. I don't like things like I don't like my colors to be shifted too much. For me, it's extremely important that skin tones are accurate when I do my corporate videos. Speaking about skin tones, let's go to the Sorry about the hoovering, by the way, if you can hear that. Um, so speaking about skin tones, here's a clip that I graded earlier using um, the wheels, the LUT, and curves. And this is what it looks like. So of course, this is the after, the before again, and then after. And I'll go ahead and disable these layers so you can see what, what the LUT's done. Um, as you can see, I actually um, film this quite bright. So it's actually sort of a little bit overexposed compared to what it should be. But the great thing with Vlog um, is that it retains detail amazingly well, especially in the highlight region. And then this is what the wheels um, layer's done. It's brought it down quite nicely. I've dragged the midtones down quite a lot there in the shadows, as you can see, to sort of get that detail back. And then the curves as well, to sort of just give a bit more emphasis to um, her face. Um, and yeah, and it's extremely simple. Um, it didn't take me long at all to do that. Anyway, let's move on to another clip. So this was taken in a warehouse. This was actually shot at ISO 4000, but you'll see just how well um, the Footage holds up even at ISO 4000 when being graded in Vlog. So again, here we go, adding the Vlog conversion lamp, and boom! Like I mean, that to me already looks really nice. Again, it's just bringing down those midtones and shadows slightly um, to get you know a sort of more punchy look if you are into that. Um, so I'm just going to do that now for you really quickly. Um, and again, I'm, I'm I'm really not being particular about this. I'm just doing what I always do, and it seems to work for me every time. So. So that's that, and then maybe I would give a little jiggle on the curves. Let's get the curves up. Where are they? Um, again, let's make sure it's above that light layer. Um, and then I might even drag this just to get some more of those blues in there. Okay, that looks good. And then there we go. So yeah, as you can see, that is a very usable colored clip, I'd say. Um, I'll show you the before and after and that didn't take me too long at all. Now, of course, it's to taste. Um, some people might want there to be a slightly more like reddish tint in the midtones and the highlights. Some people might want a slight more bluish tint in the shadows, etc. So yeah, now we have an outside clip so you can see how it works with that. Um, here we go, put the light on. I mean, even that by itself, I don't even know if I'd touch this anymore, maybe add a bit of saturation, but it just does such a great job. Like, as you can see, if I turn it off and turn it back on again, you know, like that in itself for a conversion light is just insanely good. Like it just nails it every time. Of course, it is important to get your exposure right in camera. And um, the good thing with Vlog is you do have some flexibility. Like if you're sort of two to three stops over, you should be fine. But of course, um, with any log profile, you should sort of expose to the right, as they say, where you overexpose slightly and then bring back that highlight information in post. Um, but yeah, of course, exposing correctly and getting your white balance right is a big part of this. But the conversion light does so so much work for you so that you literally just have to sort of do the little sort of finessing bits um, like adding a little bit of contrast and saturation which I mean I'm sure anyone can do it's not hard at all I mean as you can see it's very low effort um, so I'm going to do this again for this one and a mid tone saturation a bit of shadow saturation I mean I might even just give a bit more warmth to those mid-tones as well. I mean, sometimes I do drag, um, you know, the sort of little middle point on these wheels as well, just to add a little bit more coolness or warmness, or sometimes even if I feel like there's a slight shift uh, in the greens or blues, then I'll also correct that. But yeah, I mean, there looks pretty good to me. And that's with two things. That's with the conversion light and the wheels and yeah, boom. Easy stuff, very, very good. But yeah, anyway, so that's pretty much it. That is how I grade all of my vlog footage. As you can see, it's really simple. It's a case of dragging on that conversion light, um, adding some contrast and saturation with the wheels inside of Final Cut, and maybe sometimes wiggling the curves around a little bit as well, just to sort of give a bit more pop to certain areas in the image. And that is literally it. And that's how I grade all of my corporate work. I don't spend too long on it. Um, and. I've never had any complaints. I mean, personally, I think my colors are nice and clean. Um, of course, for me, the most important thing is skin tones. So as long as your skin tones are correct, you know, the grass is still green and not blue, then you'll be absolutely fine. Um, I'm not really a fan of messing with colors too much. I actually quite like a natural look. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I hope this video has been interesting or useful to you. And if it has, then please leave a comment down below or consider subscribing to the channel because I do make a lot of content surrounding uh, Panasonic cameras and all that sort of stuff. So um, if you are in the Panasonic ecosystem, then please consider hitting that subscribe button and hopefully I shall see you in the next video. Thank you.